Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 right. where you covered in dust and it has been a Wait. while. I can't I can't think when they're talking. It has been a while since I've played. Uh, once again, as per usual, uh, my current setup as I've mentioned before actually gives me excruciating pain. Um, I may have found a new workaround, but we shall see. Um, we have to deliver Nier's head. These guys, we can't do that right now. Uh, the adamantine forge. So I kept thinking that the masterwork weapon we had to do down here too, but no, we have to go back to the forge up top, and then we will get um, we'll get whatever weapon that is. And at the adamantine forge, we just need to figure out how to activate it, which is probably going to start a big old fight. And I just don't. <laughs> I am. I am scared. Uh, we do have some long rests. I am a freaking oathbreaker, which is wild, very wild. Oh, need to find a way forward. I could go look in here. I was like, what is this room? I am missing. I am missing this room. Aura of protection. Ooh. I can't better think about it. You don't need to. Uh, I guess before we do anything crazy, let's no. get going. No, no, no. Dreadful aspect. That's such a cool ability. Hmm. Do I have I do have Gale. Oh, I have the magic touch. Oh, you do indeed. Uh I need your wind, my guy. I don't know if this will work. We'll remove clouds. Okay. Um. Okay, good. For a second there, I didn't think it was going to work. Um. So sorry. Let's. Why do I look naked? And well, in it. Well, maybe it's because my shirt is black now. Maybe. What's inside? Not everyone subscribes. I to was just looking to look. Um. Let's see, I don't think I can see through the cloud technically, Sergeant. That's behind me, isn't it? That's weird. Let's have way from water deep. Gale go up and use this. That should be enough. Okay. Looking ahead. Alright. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, this is an Asterian Don't thing. Touch me. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh lock. What do you say? Missed it. Easy. This is so fun. I was rolling really badly in my friend's game the other day, but I wasn't trying to be a shouldn't have wished to live in more a sneaky time. person. I was just trying to unlock some things. Can't slow down. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get. Oh, they are jumping over. I was like, there was like a tiny. Oh, that's it then. I can't jump any further. Chosen of Shaw. Oh. Man, I really should bring... I really should bring... What's her name? Shadowheart, maybe, instead of Gale? Probably a bit too late, really. A what? Oh, yeah, he was coming to hang out. You okay over there? I have a lot on my mind. Is he coughing? Tell me, what can I do for you? Oh, okay, he's fine. I question the wisdom yeah, of that yeah. decision, but oh, so yeah, be it. Listen. I'll be here. I have I have an angry goth girl to bring around for a bit, wherever she is. Down here by, by I can't believe he's just gonna hang out down there with all my other extras. 
Whoa, we are in a cool spot. Shah's blessings upon you. Thank you. Uh, join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the red. Yeah, our armor wasn't fuzzing in. I am curious if the protection from energy, the fire, would work against lava. And my friend said if you use her like a Beyblade and throw her in with spirit guardians, she does a pretty good job. Why isn't she wearing... Oh yeah, I was like, why isn't she wearing boots? It's because I gave those boots away, apparently. So, uh, there's that. Can't afford to stay either. I don't think she has any more boots. I don't think I have any boots. Maybe she has her old boots. And her weapon is gone? Why? What? What weapon did she have that she no longer has? I guess I'll give her the disintegrating nightwalkers. They're all I have. She can't get ensnared, entangled, or in web. And they are for sharp. I wasn't planning on giving them to her, but... That looks better on her than the Woden one. Time to rest. That place in the distance. There we go. It's huge and dedicated to Lady Shah. It can only mean one thing. Dark justiciers. I just know it. Are they the only ones who make giant temples? Oh, hello. That structure we saw from a distance in the Grimforge. Something about it struck me as noteworthy. Perhaps we'll find an easier way to reach it if we keep pressing forward. Sure thing. Care to elaborate? It might all be a coincidence, but between those ruins and the signs I saw of Dark Justicias before, it might be much more. As long as I prayed to Lady Shah, I wish to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword. Night Singer? Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. That sounds horrible. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But mother, forbid me from seeking yeah, to prove Yeah, we already talked about this. Not mine. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything. Thank you. And I only wish to serve, yet she can prove. Bye. Have you already had that talk? Here we go. Oh, don't close the door, please. Oh, did the whole room clear don't out? Waste a step. Nope, it's still there. We just can't see it, I guess. Hmm. Okay, well. I was just trying to make sure we filled everything out as much as possible here. Okay, really quick, I want to go to the Blighted Village and I want to complete the quest. Oh, the just falling to pieces. These goblins aren't exactly house proud as occupiers go. Wouldn't blame the gobs. Place looks like it's been abandoned a good while. Ah, uh, hey, uh, maybe we can scare up a few dusty bottles uh, of wine somewheres. I like your way of thinking. Any takings we find? Sister, you've got a deal. You've got a deal. Let's. No, this is the wrong house. This is the one. I'm surprised these guys aren't attacking me on site because I killed all the rest of them. But we're going to the forge so that we can make a Suser bar. At least I hope. Yeah. Suser bark weapon. Let's go! Okay, so I burned it and made the- I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I burned it and made the- made it blue. 
Now what? Now for a weapon? But what am I... Like, do I just stick a weapon in there? Like, I don't know what to do. Okay, yeah, you stick any great sword, dagger, or sickle to create a masterwork weapon. You'll only be able to use a common weapon. Uh, magical or enhanced weapons won't work. That figure, I just didn't know. I was like, uh... I have a common short sword. A common shovel. No, I think uh, I'll probably do a sword. A great sword. I don't use a great sword. I guess, uh... Carla could do it, maybe. If she has one. I definitely... Not a great axe? Nope, not a great axe. Honestly, I wish they'd tell us this stuff in advance. Because, like, oh yeah, your thing says that it can make a great sword, a sickle, or a dagger. And maybe I'm just blind. And I didn't see it. But, like, I'm pretty sure they didn't. And now I have to go back to camp. <laughs> At least send somebody back. Okay, maybe they were like, oh yeah, you just gotta pick and choose until you find them. No, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to pick and choose. <laughs> I got things to do. The Ooh! Awaits an offering. A candy just, sweet just throw it in there. It's fourth. The Sousa bark infuses the weapon from within the flames. The flames sputter away. The sword is complete. I finally finished it. A Sousa greatsword. Silences target on a hit. Wow. It yearns to drink magic, silencing every creature it strikes. And it's more, um... Targeted, I guess you could say. I do, I do prefer the mall and whatnot. Her. Oh, and we are. Uh, well, okay, maybe I won't use it right now. The mall. Apparently, we're supposed to use bludgeoning weapons. In the potentially mind. upcoming fight with a lava monster. Yeah, and we have all these lava potions. Oh god, I have to organize. I have four arsonist oil. I have. What's next, I wonder? Her with protection from energy. Oh, but it's only one creature. Oof. Should have three spell slots in level three. I don't know. I haven't used Shadow Heart much, so it might be Never mind. silly running into the Underdark with her, but. She said, Night Singer, find the night song. Whoa, you know, that's, I, I put that together just now. <laughs> it's probably been said before, like Night Singer. And I'm like, nah, 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 but now I am putting it together. Uh, help the spirit of the amulet. Which is a weird title, and we don't even know that the amulet is sentient. All right, we have saved. And I don't know any blood. Nope, okay, useless, useless. Oh yeah, we were already, I mean, we, I know we've already been in here, but I'm a little lost. I'm trying to get to here. Oh, I thought it would send us to the forge itself, but it didn't. I think I'll try to make something at the forge. Before I try to tackle any any monster, today is just a crafting episode. Mold chamber. Splint armor. I think that would be. I definitely just saved, so if it doesn't work... The raw materials. I do have raw material. I have... Add a 
adamantine slag, anyway. Insert mithril ore. And then, and you are supposed to use the lava. But I worry that using the lava is going to make the lava monster mad. But then I'm like, well, if I don't make the weapon before I go to the lava monster, is that a bad thing? Or the armor or whatever? Uh, I might have mithril. I do have mithril ore. Yeah, just put it in there. Okay. And then we gotta use the forge lever for the lava that is on the lava side. It does look like it pumps lava up. Let's see what this does. Gonna give her a bunch of health potions. Yep. At this is how I play. I'm not. <laughs> I am not a subtle person. Let's be on my way. Um. Okay, lava tube. Okay, Here we go. Shot. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, that, that showed up too early, but I knew we were going to encounter something that was going to be mad about us using lava. I was hoping I could make whatever I wanted to before this happened, but alas. Why did he leave a golem in the drain? Why is there a golem in the drain? <laughs> It's a very nice call. Very, very nice. Hold, hold the phone. Eternal protector of the forge. Weak to bludgeoning. Oh shoot, Asterion maybe wasn't the best person. Uh, okay. But he's not great. He's not great with anything else. It's free immune to fire. Immune to necrotic? No, that figures is a construct. Ah. So it's resistant. It's immune to fire. So maybe our, our, our fire oil things wouldn't work. Targets that are immune to fire damage are unaffected. Well... Do I have fire resistance? Let me have some of that. Oh my gosh, and there's, oh my gosh. Can I hit you from here? I did not. <laughs> I was really hoping, honestly. <laughs> Jeez. I was really hoping that we would not move into the dangerous stuff, but apparently not. Apparently that's not how this works. Threat assessment, that sounds bad. Oh, jeez. All right, Karlak. It's go time. All right, we would like to rage. I 
don't want to use the force ability. I think I just want to hit it. But she's got a... Apparently she can't just hit it right here. She can't just... Why she gotta hit it from over there? Okay, it's got 300 health. This is ridiculous. Fast. Um, oh, we can use for her guardian spirits. It's not weak to. It doesn't take ray or what is it? Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't take necrotic, but it will take um, radiant. We also want to summon a spirit weapon, and we want to summon a force. Oh dang it! No, none of the, I, was, I was hoping these one of them would be bludgeoning damage, but they're all force. Never mind. Okay, well. Maybe we can actually get her to jump over here. And okay, well, I didn't want to make her the prime target, but I wanted her to be able to help Asterion. Oh my gosh, her aura went away? Why? Are you weak to psychic? Probably not. Immune figures. But not immune to radiant, which I don't really have much anymore. Let me put me have to keep going. right here. Aura of protection. Alright, but I need your help. Well, he's got his firewall, buddy. Arrow of darkness, um, acid. Were you weak to acid at all? Or immune to acid? Necrotic? Poison? Acid resistance? Well, that's what I got. Let's try this. Well, if you're the prime target, let's have you go over here. Oh no, I did not. Sometimes I, I do forget that there is a difference between poison and acid sometimes. Wow, she is doing some big damage though. This is excellent. Fire resistance. Uh, my turn. Or no, Shadow Heart's turn. Alright, heal yourself. Take two. Maybe we misty step? No, I don't want to misty step until absolutely necessary. Uh, it's force resistant. We. Uh, no, we will. We'll get her out. <laughs> Maybe that was too early, but here we are. Ooh! Oh man! Oh good. Okay, we are doing some chunky damage. How did my dog? My dog disappeared from an area of effect attack that went that far. Holy moly! Um, I guess it doesn't really do much, but maybe I'll have him. Sh I'll try. Why not? Oh, jeez. I think that'll actually hit my friends. Never mind, that's a bad idea. Bad, bad, bad. What you gonna do? Normal arrow. Chip away at him. I don't know what else we can do, so... The reckless attack is nice. We are okay. We're chipping. We're chipping. I'm just worried. I'm just. We're only about halfway. Let's finish this. Uh. A bestow a curse. I don't think a curse is gonna work as much as I would like it to. 
try a guiding bolt. Did that do zero damage? Oh boy. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's just smite this puppy. Jeez. Alright. The radiant didn't do anything, but yeah, I should maybe just stick to hitting it, honestly. Oh! Woo! Ouchie, 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 ouchie. Um. Shoot. Let's see if I can grow. She doesn't have any. Haha, <laughs> I knew I was going to regret that. Um. Oh, very nice. Oh, my character is actively dying. Oh, well, cool. Why is she actively dying? Like, she is not doing well. On the saving throws. We are so close on this thing. Stay idle. Yeah, well, uh, incre okay, you know what? I don't think I have anything else going on. <laughs> immune to what? Somebody was immune to something, and that was great. Next one, next one, next one. Critical hit. Oh my gosh. Killed the golem without using the forge hammer. What forge hammer? <laughs> That's a freaking achievement, but it's not like I knew what I was doing. I just did it. I didn't even know you could use the forge hammer against it. What forge hammer? Carlyc failed a saving throw against Grievous Retribution. I'm not sure what that is, but... Oh, Grim Skull Helm. Attackers can't land critical hits on the wearer. Grants resistance to fire damage. I want that. Am I may sell? Equip. I actually want to see what I look like with that on. Oh, let's go. Okay, I look dumb. You look. I look like freaking. What's his name? Lord Sauron. Ah, <sighs> yep, I hide that. But it's cool. Grim Skull Helm, and you get the Hunter's Mark, which is cool. Once home to an inscrutable machine intelligence, Grim Skull now serves as a simple helm. That's terrifying. Are we all good? All's well Let's that all ends. take a nap. All right. Time to see what new horrors wait for us. It is nap time. Um, for at least a Never brief moment. Easy path. Mold ejection lever. No, I want to use the lava tube. Can I? Okay. Um. Um. And we got. Mm hmm. I hope I'm doing it right. I will. I will go over. Oh. Okay, let me see. Maybe it doesn't need to be in there? Good. No, I think that was wrong. Right? Oh! Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> wow! Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see, let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness, I hope it looks cool. Oh, get 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 rid of that. Um let's click actually. Shoot, I don't know how to do it. Get it off. Okay. Um you know, I have to say I like my other armor better. But what does this one do? 
All incoming damage is reduced by two. Uh, when a melee attack hits you, the attacker sent reeling? Oh my gosh. Disadvantage on stealth checks, yes. Attackers can't land critical hits. Oh, maybe I should give somebody else the helmet then. No AC bonus from dexterity. I think I was wearing heavy armor. Yeah, I was wearing heavy armor before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this look better on this one, uh, but we will we will go ahead and wear we'll go ahead and wear this one. I actually want to use the sword instead also. Ooh! You know it'd be cool is if you could dye your weapons. <laughs> that might be going too crazy. Changed the color a bit. Why does my why does it look so beat up already? Is that because of the blood? Maybe it's just all the blood from me. Hmm. Didn't change it too much. Doesn't really do much, honestly, to this armor. It's a bit, a bit of a bummer. Maybe they're like, "Ooh, but your adamantine is glowing." I'm like, mm. eh, I want to change its color." Oh, this one's supposed to be red and, uh, I thought it was supposed to be black and furnace red. Maybe not? It's hard to tell. I can't apparently look at Did I do the lichen one? I don't know. Actually, now I'm worried. I thought I did black and furnace red, and I was like, that's not at all <laughs> what it looks like. Okay. It's good enough. I don't think it was the same color, but... Close enough. Matches my shield pretty well. Let's see. Seems to be stuck. Oh. Uh, I was curious if I could pull the old mold out, but apparently not. Apparently we used it up. And this is what I look like now. I think, oh, I do need to change my cloak color also. Do I? Oh, for now. For now, it's fine. Anyway, it's not a big deal at all. It is to me, though. But dang, okay, we did that. Do we? Do I dare risk? No, nope. okay, we would need to go to bed before I go tackle this lava monster over here. Oh, uh, let's go to sleepy time. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um... Well appointed, not too crowded. Thank you. Perfect for thinking, and I've been doing just that. I wish I could watch the blood out. What about? It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence <laughs> that I am a terrible adventurer. I was going to say, are you? I'm not sure I should trust Wolbrin's fate to, well, me. Uh, hmm. I wouldn't hold out hope. Let's let's quick save. Like I feel like this is just like a like a fact thing, or like at least not like a necessarily a fact, but um. Uh, lived experience. Mm, nor I. Which means quick action is necessary. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I've been no help to Wolbrin at all. Would you? Would you look for him? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. I would be very concerned if he went out on There's his own. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? My children is? are frolicking in the background. Other than a valuable explosive, perhaps not. Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. Look at him, Frolic. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real. And they have it in their possession. Why would you look for something like that, honestly? You're like, yay, we found it. Then what? 
What, you're gonna sell to the highest bidder and think, oh, surely we won't get blown up. What do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wolbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lot get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find I him. I hope this goes well. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. He did have some beef with the other gnomes who seemed fine, you know, living... I mean, they... I don't know what what necessarily is a group of untrained gnomes going to do against like a bunch of goblins and evil at Moonrise Towers, you know? And we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes, but what? Uh, well, I don't even know what they're doing. Um, we can't count on Wolverine surviving the tower. We should go after the gnomes and route to Baldur's Gate. No, I mean we'll go try to find him. She's still like in her heart the same person she was before the oath was broken. She broke the oath for what she thought was good reasons, so I'm still gonna be a square. I'll find your friend and together we'll stop the Iron Hand gnomes. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think I am far too tall. You have to get a stepladder. What can you tell me about Moonrise Towers? I haven't been there myself. The area around it is, well... Cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. I, I have a light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. No. I do have light powers still. Something else. Like what? Tell me about yourself, I guess. Barkus Root is my name. Baldur's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. Uh, okay. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Like, what do you do? What will you do if Wolbrin is dead? I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. That's fair. Oh yeah, are you an alchemist? Alchemist, tinkerer, adventurer, curmudgeon. <laughs> a curmudgeon. I wear many hats, most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I I, I kind of like him. He's growing on me. Uh, do you have anything for me? What do you need now? Oh, are you? You are so unhappy. You're so unhappy with me. Um, let's see. Neutral? I mean, we're getting there, but we're still neutral. Relationship is good. Shadow heart is fair. Okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. All these are all fair. Let me just run around and check and see if anyone has anything to say. Tell me. What can I do for you? Oh, I must, um... Oh, I can't... I need to find something that gives me speak with animals on a permanent basis. Oh, this is interesting. Falar Aluv Melody, the sword hums in anticipation, ready to sing or shriek. I didn't think I could do that because um, I'm not a bard, but apparently I could. Man, how am I supposed to know what's going on with my little buddies? Hmm. life seems to suit the young owl there. His coat of feathers seems fuller. His eyes look bright and inquisitive. My precious child. None of the noises the owlbear makes sound like hoot hoot. They all sound like chirping. This would, I think this would actually be a huge blow for her is not, like she's not necessarily like a druid, right? Where she's like, oh, I love the animals and talking to the animals, but she just respects like nature in general and being able to talk to animals has probably been such a big part of, probably been such a big part of her life that losing that is gonna be incredibly difficult, I, I would think. 
Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. You'll never have to stay behind with me, darling. All right, nobody had much of anything to say. Except the babbies a little bit. Better not be cursed. Let's go to bed. Oh, okay. Uh, it's growing. It's definitely growing on me. It's got a Dwemer vibe, and the Dwemer was, was one of my favorites in Skyrim. <sighs> Do I want to keep the ro the cloak that color, though? I don't know. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about it. There's kind of a greenish, bluish tint to the armor. Oh, no, I want to change the cloak color. <laughs> I do. Oh, yes, the black and jade. Much better. Much better. Okay. All right, well. Uh, oh, my gosh. I it is, it is really growing on me, actually. Ooh. Um, I guess I will go ahead and call this one here. I don't think... A ton happened, but hmm. So I think we are almost done. We'll help the spirit of the amulet, and then we will leave the area that we are in, and we will go to the other part of the Underdark that I haven't finished. But we'll also, we'll go drop off Nier's head, because I still have a rotting head in my pocket, so that's cool. Uh, but anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Risk Alito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.